can you get better at cornering in just five minutes? Is it impossible? I don't think so, but you might need the help of a friend. Cornering well consistently is the zen-like skill that every mountain biker needs to try to master. But I'm sure you all feel a bit like me. Sometimes you feel like you've nailed it and that ride just couldn't get any better. You're cornering well all the time. Next time you go out on a ride, it feels like you've completely forgotten how to do it and you mess up every turn. So getting better consistently at cornering is something you've got to try and master. And I think the quickest way and the easiest way of doing that is getting your camera out. This is where you're going to need the help of a friend. So everyone's got camera phones these days, or GoPros or whatever. Get your friend to film you so you can watch it in slow motion. So now you can really check out the small details of exactly what you're doing when you're cornering. First, look for your body weight. I always look at your hips. Most of the time, they want to be over the middle of the bike, so pretty central to the saddle. But then from there, you work to the outside. Very, very rarely do you want to be to the inside. So really look at where your hips are. To the outside, I mean on a right-hand corner, hips to the left-hand side of the saddle. Then front to back weight. You want to be weighting both wheels equally. If you're riding a corner that's going downhill, that does mean your hips will be to the back of the bike slightly, but that's still weighting both wheels equally. Look for your bike setup. Is the fork diving? That's something you can really notice in slow motion. Finally, look to your head. Where are your eyes looking? They should always be looking around the corner and to the exit. I guess in the ideal world, what you find is something, just one or two things in that slow motion that you can see you can maybe improve a little bit. Often it's as simple as just looking around the corner at better. It's one thing that I always have to remind myself. And then give yourself a bit of a pat on the back for things you're doing already, and then try and forget those, and then try and pick those one or two things to try and improve. So if you try and pull your riding apart and there's like five things that need improving, it's gonna be really difficult to just concentrate on that one thing, and it'll become a muddle, and you might start losing the things that you already do well. So just try and think of one or two things at a time, and then just improve those. Some of the more common things that people need to try and improve is getting the outside foot down, just trying to weight the outside of the bike. Sometimes people do that one way, but not the other. It just depends which foot forward you ride. It just feels more natural to go into the back foot. Other times people think about twisting their hips in. It's kind of the same thing, that lowering the foot, get the weight low, or twist the hips in. So find out which one works for you. Also, that's really easy to spot on the video. If you just pause the video in the middle of a turn, look at what your hips are doing, is your outside foot down. Often people will have the basics of cornering dialed, but one thing that can really help is trying to get that weight to the outside, so leaning the bike over, and I can just show you now, super simple. See how my hips come to the side of the saddle, that means my weight is over the outside of the bike. That is one to practice, and it's really, it's a lot easier to practice this somewhere super flat, maybe not even on a trail, just in a car park, and get used to the feel of being able to look down and see the sort of side of your bike, and do that both ways. If you're on a smooth bit of trail and you're looking for the most grip amount possible, that's where you can get your weight nice and low to the bike. There's no bumps that you might have to soak up. So seat down is great, but also getting your hips down, lowering your chest as well, brings the weight down, but also forward. So you can sometimes sort of bias that front wheel a little bit when you're looking for the sort of maximum amount of grip, you might be right on the edge of it. That way, hopefully, there's a bit more weight on your front tire and your rear tire will give you a bit more warning. So it might slide a little bit before the front, Obviously that's safer as well, you don't want to wash out that front tyre. So there's a few easy ways of just improving your cornering and make sure you're getting the basics really good. So weight low to the outside, dropping your foot when it's nice and smooth and making sure you're looking around the corners and hopefully as well breaking before you get to the corner and letting off through it. And then really importantly, make sure you're doing it symmetrically. So the same left and right, because it's really common for people to do it slightly differently. Like I say, film it again, hopefully you've done it. Then maybe you can pick one more thing and you can have another go at that and try to improve your cornering. Super easy, do it in five minutes, but make sure you repeat it loads. Uh, let us know what you'd like to learn in five minutes down below. See you later.